Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new lesson in Earth and Life Science which is all about genetic engineering and GMOs. This will be the second quarter topic and week 4. This lesson is under the milk based. For the objectives at the end of one hour session, 80% of the students are able to first is to define the term genetic engineering and its different types. The second one is to compare and contrast the advantages and disadvantages or rest of GMOs. And the third one is to discuss moral issues that beset genetic engineering by answering our reflection questions. Biotechnology is the use of biological techniques and engineered organisms to make products or plants and animals that have desired traits. In order to carry on this technology, it employs different processes. The following are the genetic engineering processes. The first one is the restriction enzyme, which is the cutting of the DNA strands into fragments. It is basically used to create DNA fragments with sticky ends or blunt ends that can join with other DNA fragments. Another genetic engineering process is the gel electroporesis. It separates DNA fragments by size and it is used to study DNA fragments of various sizes. Another genetic engineering process is the recombinant DNA technology. It is the combination of DNA fragment with the DNA from another source, also called the exogenous DNA. Another genetic engineering process is the gene cloning. It is the production of the large numbers of identical recombinant DNA molecules and it is used to create large amounts of recombinant DNA to be used in genetically engineered organisms. Another genetic engineering process is the DNA sequencing and it is used to identify the DNA sequence of cloned recombinant DNA molecules to further study. It is used to identify errors in the DNA sequences to predict the function of a particular gene and to compare to other genes with similar sequences from different organisms. Another genetic engineering process is the polymerase chain reaction. It makes copy of specific region of sequence DNA. It is used to copy DNA for any scientific investigation including forensic analysis and medical testing. For the activity 1, for the direction given the different genetic engineering tool or processes, give the function and application of each. The following are the three types of genetic modification. The first one is the plant genetic modification. So this is the easiest 
method of plant genetic modification used by our wandering ancestors and until today is simple selection that is genetically heterogeneous population of plants is inspected and superior individuals plants with the most desired traits like improved palatability and yield are selected for continued propagation example for this are the production of pest resistant plants and the increase of crop production Another types of genetic modification is the animal genetic modification. So modern breeds of livestock differ dramatically from their ancestor as the result of breeding strategies established and emerging biotechnology in animals agriculture including assisted reproductive technology, use of natural occurring hormones such as recombinants and biotechnologies to enhance the reproductive efficiency without affecting the genome and biotechnologies to enhance the expression of desirable genes. Example for this are the increase of milk production per cow and to double the production of eggs in chicken. Another types of genetic modification is the genetic modification of microbes. So microorganisms play significant roles in food production. So they serve as primary and secondary roles in food fermentation and in food spoilage. And they can produce enzymes or other metabolites used in food production and processing. Humans have used and genetically modified microbes for centuries to produce food, wine, bread, and cheese are common examples of ancient foods still popular depend on microbial ingredients and activities. Example for this is the increase of microbe-dependent food production and increase in human immunity or resistance to microbe disease. For the activity 2, the students will answer the Bisayang Manok versus the commercial chicken. So it's time to synthesize your learnings. So the table below contains statements that may or may not describe both Bisayang Manok and commercial chicken. So all you have to do is to organize them on the Venn diagram to show the comparison and contrast between Bisayang Manok and commercial chicken. The following are the advantages or benefits of the GMOs. So one of the main reasons why scientists conduct genetic engineering is to provide and sustain human. The modern practice of genetic engineering goes beyond cross-breeding different species to create a new outcome. There are many advantages that genetic engineering can bring the world today. One is that it makes agricultural practices much more safer by reducing, if not totally eliminating the use of pesticides. This result in creating greater yields since farmers will no longer spend extra money for pesticides. No use of pesticides would lead to improved growth rate or the crops and consequently create better food products. Genetic engineering allows specific traits to be developed for plants and animals. It can improve resistance to diseases and even stop genetic diseases in humans. We already have genetic testing in place to test for certain cancers. Genetic engineer could be used DNA manipulation to help treat or cure people who are born with genetic disorders. The different tools of genetic engineering could produce novel medical treatments like vaccines, insulin, and even hormone treatment. Through genetic engineering, we can create more treatment that allows us to be proactive more often against pathogens that can have life-threatening characteristics. There are also disadvantages that genetic engineering can bring, like the amount of diversity that is available is limited. The reason for this is the industry will focus on the product or organism that performs well. Another disadvantage is it prone to technological abuse. Currently, we have laws and treaties in place to prevent genetic engineering abuse. However, that does not mean that abuse on it use will not occur. 
The next disadvantage is the genetic engineering process can only be copyrighted in the United States. A rule that GA DNA sequence can be patented that makes the rule more profitable for organisms to study DNA manipulation instead of working for the good of humanity. Another disadvantage is it can bring difficult legal liabilities with unattended consequences. Seeds and crops can also be patented. This brings issues for farmers who encounters GMOs on their land due to an intentional spread. Genetic engineering does create a natural barrier against disease and harsh environmental condition. It also just extends the resilience of plants and animals. The changes made are not permanent benefits. More modifications are required over time because nature eventually adapts. Pathogens become stronger to affect the stronger plants and animals. Our own experience with medicines that we take like antibiotics is an evidence of this fact.